So in December, I picked up the 511-309 No Hassle Lifetime Warranty Air Raid Filter Box. And I wanted to share my experience. All right, so we already have the Air Raid box installed on the truck. Um, putting the box in was nice and easy. The problem that we have is with this tube here. We've had problems with this uh, being mismachined. So this is the third tube that's been put on the truck. And I'll show you what's wrong with it in just a minute when I take this off. The problem that I've been having with these intake tubes, if you look, the mass airflow meter, mass airflow sensor, it doesn't line up. It's crooked it's off center and what that does is it allows those holes not to line up I've only been able to get one in there now they've sent me three tubes that I'll do the same thing today's tube that they finally sent me back check that out it's centered with the hole now as long as those two right there match up we're gonna be okay Pull that screw out, that spacer is going to drop, and the mass airflow is going to come out. So you can see the difference. It the holes off center to that. You want the connector for that sensor to be in the middle. So my initial test fit. how the tube goes. Survey says, oh my god it looks pretty close. So that lines up and it looks like hole A is going to line up and hole B is just slightly off but I think it might be off enough to where we can still make it work and everything is centered. So the mass airflow meter lines up the right way. So now let's install this bad boy see what happens. So what we're going to do is put our spacers where they need to go like so. Set the meter in and then let's get one of them started. Let's get the one that lines up perfect started. And then our second one, this might be the issue here. Okay, snap that in and we're off still, but I think we can make it work. All right, so it is off center just a tiny bit. I mean the holes. I don't know if you can see the angle of those. We're gonna we're gonna thread them in and see what happens. I think it might actually work out. At least it's a heck of a lot better than it's been. Let's get one in. No, oh, now it's not gonna work. What the hell? I'm not sure what the hard part about drilling holes in the damn pipe is, to be quite honest with everybody. This is really ridiculous that this fourth one doesn't work. It looks better, but this is really making me not want to purchase their snorkel, which is the whole reason I bought this box, because I wanted to go with the same company start to finish. But if they can't even machine holes right in a, in a pipe like this, what makes me think I want to put their snorkel in? Why would I want to drill a four inch hole in my fender to find out that their stuff isn't machined right and doesn't fit, doesn't work? Looks like that's going to be the case here too. So we are closer than we've been in a while. But it still doesn't line up. Let's go with this top hole, see if this doesn't work. I wonder if I can... It's just barely off too. Like... Maybe I can modify it. 
So I don't know if I need to modify the mass airflow sensor. It's just off by such a tiny bit anymore. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but... <sighs> Let's see what we can do. It's just the, the, the main hole here has to be like a sixteenth of an inch closer to that. So I'm going to maybe try and round it out. Just needs a, a tiny bit, so I'm gonna try and ream it, file it. We are close. We might be as close as we can really get. Let's try a little more. So you don't want this to be too big because you want that overing to seal as much as it can, and. You don't want to have a gap because you don't want more air coming in to the intake than is designed, right? So if you have more air coming in, make it a little too lean. You may have a check engine light, might not run right. We're not sure. It's a Toyota, so it probably won't have any effect on it at all. Be just fine, but I'm really, really close. I mean, I might be able to make that work. Might be able to take just a little tiny bit out of there. Let's try that. So we want to make sure that we inspect this really well as to not get any debris on that thing. Because that will make it run like crap. Let's see what this looks like. Put her in. I think that might work. I think, I think we're going to be in business with that. For the record, I don't think a $400 piece of equipment should be this big of a pain in my ass to install. Can we get these threaded now? Okay, one's threaded. Well, minor modification, it looks like it's going to be okay. Still ridiculous because there's one tube, there's another tube. And yet another tube. So why I took four tubes to get one that was almost close enough that required little modification to work from a company like k and I don't know. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 on overall quality because this is just ridiculous. I might still try their snorkel because I think it looks the best for the price range that I want to be in at about $500. But uh, I'm, not, I'm not holding my breath on that actually fitting for crap. So let's go reinstall this. So check this out. I take the breather threaded fitting out of here, threads in nicely. <laughs> I, I can't make this shit up. But look at that little tiny guy. It doesn't fit. So now that I've modified the hole here to get the mass airflow to fit, you can clearly see the size difference in the other hole. From a company like k &N, you know, this just I expect this off of something from eBay, but so, let's ream this bad boy out a little. See if we can force threads in it. It's just a breather. We're going to see if we can't make it fit. It's just barely there. So a little bit more, we can maybe force thread this thing. I'm done waiting. And no, I do not have any fancy machining tools. Yeah, I think we can make that work unless we just wipe the threads out, but we'll figure it out. I 
I'm going to make it work. So there's our new hole. There's our fitted piece. We might get lucky here. The rubber mallet and a whack, whack, whack. I once had a tech tell me that cross threads are better than no threads, and it's a breather, plastic on plastic. So guess what? I'm gonna say that's good enough. It's in. It's tight. Tight enough. <laughs> I'm sending it. This stuff's the best. So now it's going to be to our rescue. We're going to put a bead of that around. I know it's kind of shitty, but I'm going to go and put her in there. Give her a little love tap. Since it's cyanacrylate, it should just melt the plastic together nicely and not look completely terrible. So we're going to let that cure up. Ooh, my fingers are sticking together already. We're going to let that cure up, clean it. It actually looks pretty damn good. And then we're going to call it a day. We're going to reinstall this girl. Four tubes, one ass ache. Hopefully it works. All right. So that's our final install. My modified tube. My modified mass airflow and now we're finally done.